You guys want to find out who won the Axis of Awesome first ever crate challenge? Me too. Stick around. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave from Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I thought we'd do a quick review of the last eight boxes that I've received over the last couple months from members of the Axis of Awesome and one new member possibly to the Axis of Awesome. And I uh, thought we'd go over those first before I uh, declare the winner or share the winner with you. So, hang tight. Okay, before I start this off, I'd like to just explain to you when I was uh, showing the videos, I was doing them in the order that I received them. In other words, the first box that came in was the first one I did the video for and so on. So, nobody got any more playing time than the rest. It was just how I received them and that was the first one that went up. So, the very first one that came to me was from the skull reviews this is peter's submission for the axis of awesome box challenge it uh <laughs> turned out really well if you remember uh the video that i made it was a rusted out container found in the woods so uh here is his uh he didn't do anything on the inside i actually put that in there for the uh the filming um so the inside was left open which was fine um it was supposed to be a uh, a box uh decorating challenge I guess you could say um, so he kept his uh, you know to the to the tee and uh, I really really liked it man when this, this was the first one I came in I was like man if all of them are gonna be like this it's gonna get crazy because uh, this took a turn that I never thought uh, was going to to be like this and I, I really enjoyed it so thank you Peter So, continuing with the order they were received in, this was the submission from Skunk Works, G.I. Joe Customs, Jeff, and he did a survival pack adventure team with this, I guess, olive green type color. Adventure team logos on it. Put his logo on the bottom. Really like this, really like the bright orange here. Survival pack. On the inside, he put dividers, he put a foam insert here, and a uh, uh, computer type comm screen at the top. So, thank you, sir. The third box that I received was from G.I. Joe, The Lost Chronicles. This is Adam's submission. And if you remember, this was the yellow one that got so much attention. Everybody thought it was a throwback to the uh, 70s Adventure Team look, which it, which it was. And on the inside, he took two of the screens from the Big Trapper. And then he also added the antenna, which connected up top. And that was his submission for his box for the, for the uh, Axis of Awesome challenge. Thank you, Adam. The fourth box that I received was from Pop Locks 4583 and he actually put his logo right on top there. Engraved that in just so I didn't mix them up. Thank you, Cody. And again, his is a uh, darker green color. Painted uh, the handles and the clasps on the inside and he did a fantastic job. This is a uh, all sewn in, velcroed, all the little who who yas added in there. He put a fast rope, um, grappling hook, just just a ton of stuff on the inside. Thank you, sir. Submissions five and six came together in the same box. I just happened to open this one first, and this was Pat's from Elite Action Joe Studios. And he went with a winter theme on his. And it was all white. On the inside, he added a second crate 
with a lot of little extras. Had a, a searchlight or spotlight on the front of this. Put a tow rope on the front so you could pull it through the snow. Had the sniper rifle up top, also a grappling hook, and also added another light here um, that's shown on the outside. So, thank you for your submission. The other part to Elite Action Joe Studios was Jameson's submission. Jameson, uh, he was the only one that had submitted a box that looked like this and didn't have the, uh, the slits on the top and the different type of case. So good for you, buddy. Good for you. This one was a little bit harder, but he came through. He did an EOD case with a little uh, remote control uh, robot as a knife little uh, gun on top and his comms so that is Elite Action Joe Studios Jameson and for submission number seven was Spider Monkey Films Tom this is Tom's submission of course he had the uh, candles on top which are inside along with the pink trunks we're still not sure what that's all about but the gold candles are in there and they went up here if you recall from the video thank you for your submission sir and for our final submission we have newbie modder Brian with box number eight. This came in late, later than I thought, but it still came in. He didn't receive his boxes till late, so it was okay. He went with a Super Joe look, orange, and also included inside the the map up top, along with the uh, sniper rifle and a little, another little crate. And that was the only member of this Axis of Awesome challenge. It was not in the Axis of Awesome. So thank you, Brian. Okay, so I'm filming this portion of the video in my office for two reasons. One, I needed a whiteboard. I didn't have one of these at home. So, as you can see on the whiteboard, or maybe you can't see, I'll take close-up photos of this. I've listed one through eight in the order in which I received the uh, Adventure Team Axis of Awesome crates. So, first one was received, that was the Skull Reviews. This is the date at which it was posted, the video on YouTube. So you can see here, in order, we have Skull Reviews, Skunk Works, Lost Chronicles, uh, Pop Locks, Elite Action Joes 1 and 2. Then we have Spider Monkey and Newbie Modder. The dates are August 4th, 7th, 9th, 13th, 15th, 17th, 28th, and September 3rd, okay? With that said, these are the days that they were actually on the internet as of yesterday's. So, 41 days total, 38, 36, 32, 30, 28, 17, and 11, all right? With that said, you would have thought the individuals that had more time on the internet would have had more views. But here's what panned out. Skull Reviews, 182 views, 161. Lost Chronicles came in with 1,030. Um, honestly, I've never had a video that uh, had that many views. I'm not as big as some of these other uh, YouTubers, so 1,000 for me is great. Uh, Pop Locks, 113. 218, 173, 182, and then Newbie Modder, who only had 11 days on the internet, 1,171. So you can see, if we just looked at views, Newbie Modder was in first place and Lost Chronicles in second place, okay? If we looked at comments, we had 22, 22, 27, 20, 20, 19, 17, and 12. Uh, 27, Lost Chronicles, was in the lead there, followed by a tie at 22 and 22, okay? Finally, we have likes, okay? 
So if we looked at likes alone, 21, 17, 32, 14, 17, 18, 17, 28, 32, again, Lost Chronicles, first place. Second place would have been Newbie Modder. So this is the first reason I'm in my office. I'll show you the second reason I'm in my office. Stay tuned. If you don't know much about being in the military or working with the military, you may not know that they give out challenge coins. Now challenge coins are given out to individuals who complete a task or do something outstanding or help out a command or, or whatever. And um, this is just my collection in my office. Again, I've been working for the Navy for over 30 years now. So I've collected quite a set here. And again, these are not purchased. Um, these are given to you. Uh, you have to earn them. Um, usually done over a handshake and that's how it's uh, given to you. And you can see uh, every command or individuals can have their own coin made. Why am I showing you this? Well, you'll see in the next part of the video. Okay, everybody, so here we are back at the man cave. I've displayed all the boxes, all the crates, all eight of them. They're being guarded by the nine pewter vintage GI Joes. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but these are a uh, pewter and they represent the uh, I guess the 1964, 65, 66 era of G.I. Joe. I've had these for a while. And uh, I guess it's time to pick a winner here, huh? Let's go. Okay, everybody, I guess it's decision time. Uh, I've been thinking for several weeks on how we could go about judging this. Uh, came with some different ideas. I had talked about going live one time on YouTube that didn't really work out. I was thinking about uh, having all my neighbors come over and vote, uh, but as, as much as I love my neighbors, uh, they have no concept of what G.I. Joe is or Sigma Six or this whole competition. And they're usually drunk most of the time, so I'm not sure if they're the best ones to be voting on something that's so important to this axis of awesome. Uh, first, let me thank uh, the eight participants who submitted their crates for the competition. Uh, I think it broke, brought out uh, the collective, uh, which, how should I say, artistic juices flowing and, and get everybody thinking about you know, how, how they could create something new and different. Um, also, we had one new newbie member who uh, is now part of the Axis of Awesome. That's me. Okay. If you haven't been following, I was uh, admitted to the Axis of Awesome. That was not my intent uh, when I started this project, however. I was just uh, just throwing out a challenge uh, to a bunch of guys who I thought might uh, might accept it and have fun with it, and they did. So uh, uh, I think it all came out uh, great in the end. And uh, I hate to do this, but it's time to wrap this thing up and put it to bed and pick out a clear winner. Um, you know, I, I spoke to Tom I spoke to Adam, I think I spoke to Jeff a while back about picking this and everybody had their different opinion, um, but I think the best way to do it is probably go by the numbers, uh, which means if we're looking at numbers, I hate to say this, Adam, but you were overtaken by Newbie Modder. Newbie Modder got you. Uh, not only did he get you by about 100 uh, views, 
but his box was only on the internet for 11 days and for some view uh, for some channel that hardly has any subscribers when I mean, I, you know I mean that I, I remember what it was like starting out myself you know I think he has 25 or 30 subscribers um, and getting a thousand views in over a thousand views in less than 11 days is just that's amazing man I mean I've been doing this for a couple years now and most of my videos are getting 100 to 200 you know I think I'm like that's good you know uh, the majority of us are not on YouTube and making money or not monetized although maybe skull reviews is I'm not sure he's up there but uh, most of us aren't we're just doing this for fun we're just a bunch of, bunch of old guys that uh, enjoy collecting 12 inch GI Joes and uh, so it was glad to see that uh, <clears throat> this all worked out I think everybody had fun but uh, Tom did remind me that you know this is the new new generation and you know the whole millennial thing that everybody gets a trophy these days you know there is no clear winners you know we're all we're all in the same playing field got me thinking about how we could divvy this up and how I could you know make everybody happy even though we do have a clear winner um, so hopefully what I have planned here um, will make everybody happy so with that said the reason I showed you my coins at work is I have my own coin uh, my call sign for many years working with EOD has been Dr. Evil. So I had coins made up, uh, Dr. Evil, and I give these out to uh, usually Navy personnel who, you know, come through for me, uh, you know, do stuff or we exchange coins. So it says Dr. Evil on one side and it's a quote from Aristotle, Mansana and Corpusano. You guys can look that up on the back side. I've been using that quote for years. So uh, everybody will be getting a challenge coin since they accepted the challenge. Each of them will also be getting one of the pewter uh, G.I. Joes, the vintage pewter G.I. Joes. I'm going to put one of those on a box. And then each and every one of them are going to be getting one crate. Now, they may not get, they're not going to get their own crate back. What I've decided to do is they're going to get a different crate that either somebody else made or I made. So I made them five of my own. I may send those out and then just put in, you know, uh, the other ones or I may exchange all eight of them. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but they're going to get one crate. It's not going to be the one they made. It's going to be somebody else's or one of mine. And then hopefully once they get that crate, they can put together a little photo sh story like I did and post it on their uh, YouTube page. So I think that's the fairest thing to do. Um, but again, newbie modder, uh, awesome job, brother. Awesome job, man, for not having that many subscribers and not being on uh, YouTube that long. You kick some butt, man. So congratulations. And uh, looking forward to seeing uh, you guys once you receive your boxes and uh, some photo stories from you guys.